So I've got my quick selection tool selected and I'm ready to begin. You will notice that I do have a problem and you might come up with this problem too. It does not seem to be selecting anything while I go and all of a sudden as I was going it seemed to disappear. If I zoom out you can see that it selected the whole image. This is because the whole image is just a block of color. You're on the wrong layer in order to select the pixels you want to select. So you have to be on the image layer every time you select a new color. So command D to deselect and now you're on the image layer and now we can start. And that'll pretty much do the face. And let's go ahead and do it the same way we did the last one. And I'll show you why we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. So we go in here and we find a color we want and we click OK and we change it to soft light or overlay. And it looks OK, but I have a problem. Usually, the skin does not just stop at the edge of the hair, and especially on a baby because it's pretty thin. So we're gonna do something to soften the edge of the selection you made. I'll go back a few, back to my selection, and we're going to modify this selection. So you go to select and modify, and we want to feather the selection. Feathering, as you can imagine, means to make it softer. And it depends on your image as to the amount of pixels that you have in your feather radius. And this will make more sense once we finish here. 15 seems to work pretty well for this image. If you have a larger image, it may need to be more. And if you have a smaller image, it may need to be less. But if you look, you can see what it did. Let me undo so you can see. It looks like it made the selection smaller, but not really. Let me show you. So now we'll go do what we did with the last one. Get us a solid color and switch it to a skin color. And that's what it did. It softened the edge of the selection. So now when we change it, it will look a little bit more natural along that line. Now we may have to come down here and take some of the selection out where the color went beyond and it looks like I gotta add the neck because I missed that. The other thing you might wanna know is how to get the same color because my little baby's face looks kinda yellow compared to his arms and legs. So if you double click on the color, this is the color's number, so if you copy that, Command C, and then you go into the other color, Command V into that number, and it copies the same color, and now the baby's face tone is the same as the baby's legs.